and welcome to project 87 of this course so in this video we're going to be creating this shape clicker game by just using html css and javascript so currently we have this one uh shape right here if you just click on that it will now gives us a random uh shapes on our canvas right here okay so anytime you click on it so it will now give us like it took like that much seconds to click okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right to our coder and write our code so to do that first of all let me just create a folder given name of like os87 of uh shape clicker game and now let's just add our index.html in here and also let's just add our style.css and also finally let's just add our app.js for javascript so now let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code instead of other things so for html we are not going to be writing a crazy html but we are going to be just writing our live with the class or output okay and now let's just link that with our javascript and also link that to our css as well so now let's just change this one to like shape shape uh clicker game save it and now let's just go to our css and now let's just style that a bit and by the way right click on it and open it as a live server so it will now open it in a live server anyway so now let's just go to our css and we are not going to be also writing a crazy amount of css as well so we are going to be just writing a, a background of black and the color of totally white okay so that's that now let's just um what do we say now let's just get our message and which we are going to be using this class inside our javascript okay and now let's just put a text align of totally center and padding will be just like 10 pixel and font size will be like two rims okay so that's that now let's just get our box which we are going to be also getting inside a javascript so let's just give them a width of like 100 pixels and duplicate and height will be also 100 pixels and position will be relative so position relative all right so we've got our top of pixel a 50 pixel and left will be just like 20 percent or now and also background color will be this like coral and silk i can't even pronounce this name and then let's just put a border of like one pixel solid black okay so let's just add our font size of like 1.5 rem not rem but 1.5 m's and line height we are going to be using like 100 pixels so save it and nothing's gonna happen because we don't have nothing for now and now let's just get into our javascript and now let's just provide our interactivity so for javascript the first thing i would do is i'll just initialize our game and we have this um what do we call it we have <laughs> this um object right here the first property we would have is like timer will be zero and also the start will be set to null for now okay so once we save it and this is how it looks like the first thing we would do is that we would just create a message element Okay, so to do that first of all let me just write a message in here and it will be now equals to document.create element and here we are going to be placing our div right here and message.class list um class list uh, dot add and now let's just add our message right here which we have created right here so we have like text line of center padding will be 10 pixel and font size will be two rims okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to attach that to the body so we are going to be using um but document.body.prepend uh prepend and now let's just uh prepend our message in there and also message.text content will be equals to press to start okay so it will go up there so now if we save that now here you can see we have this text right here now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to create a box okay so if you want to create a box so the first thing you do is that we will just write a box document.create element and now let's just uh, create our div right here div and also let's just add our box dot class list dot add of box the next thing which you have to do is that we have to get our output container output and now let's just write document dot query selector of output so uh, then just get our output dot append uh, not append child but just append and now let's just add our box so now if you save that so hopefully we are now getting this box right here so everything is working the way we expect them to work so now the next thing which you have to do is that we are going to be creating a function which will just like generate a random words for us so random numbers so let me just create that function of random numbers and it will be now uh, taking the a parameter of max and now let's just return like math.floor and also math.random 
Okay, so now let's just divide that by max. Okay, so let me just write a max in there. So now our first function is created. So now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to create another function for adding a box. So we are going to be creating a function with the name of add box. Okay, so that's that inside there. We are going to be using gap.start and it will be now set to like new date. And now let's just use like get time right here. Okay, so now also let's call this method and now let's just get our container. So we are going to be using like uh, output dot uh, get bounding client rect so here no, we are not going to be passing anything inside there now let's just get our dim so it will be now equals to like random numbers that function which we've created just in a second and we are going to be passing a 50 right here so 50 plus 20 and now let's just pass it one more time so random number and 50 plus 20 right here as well so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to just pour a little bit of uh, styling to this box so box dot style uh, dot display will be now equals to block for now and also box dot width and it will be now equals to box dot style dot width will be now equals to then i'm gonna write back text and it will be now equals to dim and now we want to get the first one and here we just have to add a pixel in there okay so now let's just duplicate that and now let's just provide our one right here and start off with we are going to be adding our height right here okay so then we have box dot style box dot style dot background color and it will be now equals to let me just pass a pound symbol and now you want to attach that with mat dot random and also now you want to use or two string okay so we want to change this value to be a string and we want to provide our 16 right there and then we want to use that uh substr for like substring so you want to write uh, minus six in here so now we get our background color so now the next thing which you have to do is that first of all i'm going to just zoom out a bit so we can see everything a bit clear and now let's just add our left value so box dot style box dot style dot left will be now equals to a random number and now inside that we are going to first of all adding our container width minus dim and now let's just provide or zero in there and now here we are going to be just attaching a pixel right here so now let's just duplicate that right here and here we are going to be placing on one and instead of width we are going to be placing our height right there okay so this one will be the top value okay and now let's just get our box dot style dot border radius and it will be now equals to that random number and inside there we are going to be placing our 50 plus and then percentage sign right here okay so we are now done with that so now we are done with this function so now let's just use this function inside our box so let's suppose if we click on a box so we want to attach event listener of click on it so once we click on this box then we want to call this function right here okay so box dot text uh, let me just write box dot text content will be now equals to empty strings for now and then we have box dot style dot display will be set to for now none okay and then game dot timer will be now set to like set timeout and now let's just add or add box uh, function which we have created and also random numbers and now let's just provide with 3000 duration right there okay and also let me just write like uh if not game dot uh, start if game is not starting so you want to write a message or text content and it will be now set to like uh watch for element and click add okay so i guess that description will be fine and now let's just write our else clause so if game is start so you want to write like uh current so let's just write like new date and then dot get time so now let's just call that and now let's just also get our duration and it will be now set to like current and now minus game dot start okay and now let's just divide that by thousand all right so now the final thing which you have to do is that we have to get our message down text content and it will be now equals to like uh it took uh duration uh seconds or we can also write as s you know i'm gonna write like seconds i like to be a little bit specific so to click so now if you just save that and if we just um press on this box right here so watch for the element and click it so if you click on this one it will disappear it will now give us a random um, boxes right here and anytime you click on it so it will now tell us like it took you that much that long to click on that box right here and anytime we are now getting a random boxes with the random shapes and with the random uh, radius and also with the random width and height and also with a random color okay so that's looking cool so here you can see we have this one 
and if you just click on that so now let's just wait for a bit and i, I want to just click for a few of them so our red ones and that's that click on this one so everything is working the way we expect him to work so i think that was it about tonight's video and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.